Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the main United direct on the channel for United fans and football fans all over the world. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful Tuesday. As you know, there's so much football to talk about. But while you're watching, smash a like on our video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, uh, drop your comments. And don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms. Thank you very much. We got some breaking news. We got some news everywhere. And going, as you know, Cameroon played Senegal last couple of days ago and you know, they lost 3-1 a goal by Mane sealed up the deal but it was the way on Nana you saw it on my podcast we saw it on the podcast on Sunday it was played over and over the goal was really slow but it's just the fact that Cameroon today beat um who did they beat they Mozambique I think they beat Mozambique and they qualified for the knockout stage, but he was dropped. He was dropped for the third, for a guy who was in goal. He's a French goalkeeper in the third tier of the French league. He was one who they, who was in goal where they won the match and qualified. So he was dropped. Things are not going well for him in the Cameroonian national team. He, You see, he, he's in that place about, should I go, should I stay? He stayed at United, considered more goals. He's now considered 53 club and country, free for Cameroon, 50 for United. And the numbers are ridiculous. But we all know this game coming up on Saturday, on Sunday in the FA Cup against Newport. It will be Binder in goal. So we get is the fact that we don't know how good this guy because none of us have seen him play a single minute. That's why we're so eager to see this guy uh, in goal for Manchester United. So that is the latest on Onana. It, uh, his chances of coming home early have been dashed. Even if they they get knocked out early, this guy's going to be in goal. So we get to see this guy. So Onana's chances of coming home early have been dashed because Cameron qualified for the knockout stages. I'm going to cover the African Cup of Nations knockout stages. Watch this channel, and I'm going to be covering it very soon. I'm just going to try to put everything together, and I'll start to um, give you guys all the info on African Nations Cup of Nations. So please stick to this channel, subscribe to us, follow us, and drop your comments. Thank you very much. Right. Other breaking news is that we've been hearing it. It's, been, it's come from the Athletic. It's come from other sources. The, the uh, Chris Whelan saying, man, Ineos are looking at Deserbi. Why are they looking at Deserbi? I mean, when a when a new come when a new bar comes in, he posts his no CEO, director of football, sporting director. They normally bring in a new manager. But at the same time, because we're in the midpoint of the season, it means that Terry Eric Ten Hag is not going to be. I don't think they're going to fire him just like that. I think they're going to kind of see him through the end of the season. And if he doesn't get us, say, win us the FA Cup or get us to the top four, top five, then I think they're going to be looking at a different manager altogether. I think the Zerbi is the target. Graham Potter, Graham Potter, Gary Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Potter is the second choice. But I think if they're going to get rid of Ten Hag, I think the Zerbi is the first choice. Because when you look at it, when a, a new person acquires a club, he puts everything in place. So they want to start a fresh new system, new ideas, new philosophy. The the the, the DOF and the, the, the sporting director all work in tandem with the manager. So what have United ever... United have always had CEO, manager. No sporting director. On uh, Marino was... Richard Arnold was... Um, uh, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name now. Oh, God. Woodward. It was Richard Arnold. It was Woodward and Marino. R Woodward and uh, Moise. Woodward and... Um, Woodward and... Um, uh, 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 Van Gaal. It was Ole and Woodward. So, the United have never had that structure of manager, director of football, sporting director, CEO. We've never had that. So this has also been new. And I'm happy what Ineos are bringing to the table. Because it gives us a new direction. And this is the situation here. Do we want a manager who's just going to do all the signings himself? Or do we want a manager of a structure, should I say, that whereby they tell him, this is the players we want that will fit into your system. Option two. Option three is the manager... The, the, the director of football and the sporting director work side by side and say these players will fit into the system and the DNA of the club. So they've got three options. Every Ten Hag doing everything himself. I, I want that player. You give me that player. Or no, 
You focus on the football and the coaching. We will give you the players you need and the players we think you need, the players we think will suit you. You make it work or you work with the DOF and the FD and they work together as a team. So those three options, what do you prefer? But United have never had this structure. So it's brand new, even under um, Ragley. Ragley was reporting to Richard Arnold and John Murtoff. So that was the first time John Murtoff came into. Then they had, um, what's his name? Fletcher. And he, was, he and Ragley used to ask, what is Fletcher doing on the bench? We used to like, what is he really doing on the bench? You know what I mean? But that's what it is. So do you think Deserbi should be the next United manager? Is he who should... Can he? But you see, I always say this. Some players, are, some managers are successful in small clubs where there's less pressure, less uh, microscopic view on top of you, nothing amplified. Very Ten Hag was successful in Holland. He was a great manager in Holland. Manchester United is a monster. It's a beast. It's a graveyard. Big managers, great managers, uh, managers achieved Champions League have failed. And I mean failed. They failed because of the structure as well. And on the owners, let's not forget that. So what are we looking at? This new structure which has been put into place, can we could say, all right, to Zerbi, can he work under DOF? Probably, uh, uh, um, 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 what's his name? Mitchell or Brasford or uh, uh, the, the, the new CEO, uh, Barada. So with all that in place, the CEO might look at it like, okay, we need this, this, this player. And don't forget, uh, Claude, uh, Claude Von Blanc, Von, Claude, John Claude Von Blanc, John Claude Blanc, no, it's happening to me today. John Claude Blanc is also going to be part on the board. So you have Verada, John Claude Blanc, Richard Brasford, hopefully get him, uh, Mitchell. So there is there is that special. I don't know where John Murtough or Gary uh, or Darren Fletcher are going to be. In. I I think they're going to be weeded out slowly. I, I have a feeling they're going to be moved on down the road, eased on down the road, and told goodbye, good night on your bike. I I have the feelings coming, but it's a matter of time. I think all that's going to be finalized in the new season. But can Eric Ten Hag actually save this season? Can he get us to six or seven? You have players coming back. Casimiro's back. Uh, Martinez is back. Shaw is back. Uh, 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 Maguire's coming back from injury. So there are opportunities. I've also been hearing from uh, the whispers. United, one, they, they're trying to find out how to get rid of Anthony. Oh, that, that, I don't know about that one. You know what I mean? But if we delve into the transfer news... United are even ready to offload Wambasaka to the Saudis. Do you want Wambasaka to stay? Do you want it to be sold to the Saudis so we could get a right back? I think they, they rate um, the low better because the low offers something different, whereby he's also a good footballer and he could go forward. Wambasaka is kind of in a team whereby all he knows is defense because Crystal Palace, right? Well, a team are always sitting back. In United, we kind of attack a bit more because we're United got better players. But he can't help attacking because he's so used to be sitting back and all he does is the sliding tackle and blah, blah, blah. So Saudis, what would you rate him as? 30 million, 40, 50 million? I'll say, 30. I'll say 35 would be great. To sell him to the Saudis would be great. But this is where Ineos, Ineos are really looking at everything microscopically and they're looking at it astronomically Majestically thinking, you know what? Big wages, not needed. Big wages, not needed. Mm, would it fit? So the, the Indians are really looking at so many moving parts, so many moving parts. Players who are overpaid, players who are not good enough for the club, players who need to be offloaded. They're, they're looking at so many things. So that is where we are. Do you want, do you want one second to be sold? If we a bid comes in from Saudi, should he take it? I think it, United should take it. And move on, move it on. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. You know, at this point, 
Sentiment should be out the window. If they want to sell Rashford today, I'm not gonna like, oh why? No, no, keep listen. If you know if you're not gonna sell Bruno Rashford today, I would not blink an eye. I would like, okay, this is good, this is good. Because sometimes it's time for change. We need to wipe the slate clean and start afresh and get rid of the baggage. You see what I mean? And I don't I think that's where United are. So the Zerbi is being talked about. His name is being is coming on all regularly, regularly, regularly. There's no smoking back fire. The same name is coming up. What does that mean? He is being looked at. I tell you what, before they fire a manager, they always have somebody who they will choose, who they will find as an ideal replacement. Don't forget, Van Gaal won the FA Cup and got fired two hours later. And Marino replaced him. They had been working on Marino three months earlier. Marino, he got fired too. It is what it is. <laughs> and he just got fired again from AS, 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 AS Roma. Well, for he did a great job. But poor guy. Poor guy, I really felt bad. Do you want Mourinho back? Do you want Mourinho back at United? Mm, would you take him back? That's a big question. Would you take him back? In this current structure, I don't know, you know. I I, I, I just feel we've we've done the Mourinho. I think we've done. I, 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 I don't think I'll take him back. Chelsea took him back. And he, when he took him back, he won a league title for them. So, I don't know. It is tricky. They took it, it one league title and he got fired. But the funny thing was, apart from recently, all the managers Chelsea hire tend to win a league title, then get fired. We don't even win a league title. So something is not right. The players in our club get managers out and are not held accountable for their poor performances on a weekly basis. Anyway, but that's what we have the breaking news for you today. Oh, Nana has dropped for Cameroon, and Cameroon have qualified for the uh, top um, round of the knockout base in AFCON. He won't be coming back early. I don't want him to come back early. I need to stay there as long as he can so he can see being the perform. That's we have not seen him. That we want to see him perform. Then you have Wambasaka, who the Saudi said, you know what? He will be a good fit in Saudi. So if Saudi bid, do you want him to go? I'll say good night, good night, if that's what it takes. we got to start re getting rid of this extra luggage and baggage and ship them out, mate. That's all I see. That's where I see it. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow us on all the social media platforms. We also have a podcast, which we, put, we do on Sundays, and you can check us out on Spotify. I'll see you soon. From me, it's goodbye and good night. See you soon.